Of all the great features that Google Plus has, one that it's missing is a way to save draft posts. Uh, Facebook and Twitter don't have a feature like that either, but Google Plus posts often get longer and more nuanced and um, more creative than a typical status update on other networks, and there's no way to save a post in progress. Uh, if you don't save it in progress and something happens, it's gone forever. I personally tend to use Google Docs or Evernote to save long posts that I'm working on, but there's a neat little hack you can do on Google Plus to make it work right here. Uh, what you do is create a new circle called Drafts, um, and I would recommend keeping it near the top of your list, um, and only add yourself to it. I believe this also works even if it's empty, but I add myself to it. And here's how this works from here. So I start working on a post, and perhaps I bold some text, maybe add a link. You know, it's becoming a pretty lengthy post here, but I don't have time to finish it right now, but I want to save it so I don't lose it. What I can do is only share it with that draft circle. And we'll go ahead and actually share it, because again, the only people that will see it are the people in that circle, which is me. And we'll let it share there. Um, and now if we go to our draft circle, whoops, I didn't mean to click that, sorry. Go to our draft circle, it should pop through, there's our post. And so again, I'm the only one that can see it and I can get to this draft circle from you know any computer I want to log in on. It used to be we could go in now, edit it, clean up the post, and then change who can see it. We can no longer edit that piece of the privacy, but we can still go in, you know, make some changes, save it, and just kind of keep working on that draft. When it's time to post it, so we say, okay, this post is looking good, it's ready to go. We'll go in and edit it again so we can get the raw version of it, select all the text, copy it, and then just go to a new post, paste it in there, um, probably get rid of that link thing, but then change who we really want to see the final post, you know, personal, public, whatever circles you want, and go ahead and share it, and we're done. It's a great way to, to keep that little draft circle going. Again, I like Google Docs a little better for this kind of thing if it's going to be a real long post. Um, largely because I can share that with other people if they want to look at the post or critique it or maybe toss an Evernote. Um, this is a great way to do it if you're on Google Plus all the time anyhow. You may as well use Google Plus for that kind of feature. And again, because it's in a circle like that, um, any computer you log into Plus on, you can, react, you can still access the draft, keep tweaking it, and then it's just a simple copy and paste to make it live when it's done. So I hope that tip helps you out. Thanks.